Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please be sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. If you're already part of the fabulous family, what's popping, what's happening, what's good? When I get you back, oh yeah. So as you guys can see from the title, this is another Curvy Girl Diaries. I have not done one of these videos in such a long time. And... You know, the other day, maybe like last week or the week before, someone on my Instagram asked me, you know, hey girl, are you going to bring the series back? I actually really, really used to enjoy it and I felt like it was relatable content. And I just decided, let me bring it back. Um, This is something that obviously very, that's obviously very dear to me because of the type of content that it is. I know these videos don't normally get um a lot of views, <laughs> but um, this is something that's like, close to my heart i'm really passionate about you know trying to be a voice um for you know bigger girls full of figured women and just trying to you know let people out there with similar bodies to mine that you know you are seen you are heard there's somebody obviously like trying to you know put you guys on help you guys out not that you know people can't dress but like <laughs> if anyone wants the help or anyone feels like you know they had these questions and you know they just wish that somebody was there to kind of like answer them that's kind of what i'm trying to do so anyway without any further ado we're going to get right into this video so basically we're just going to be looking at how to like dress for your body especially as a fuller figured woman you know we hear many different things many different tips many different tricks um so i'm just going to get into that a little bit so my very first Thing to keep in mind or a tip maybe we're going to call them tips okay so my first tip is know your body everyone says this i'm pretty sure it sounds pretty silly to tell people that they need to know their bodies because obviously we look in the mirror every day we know what our bodies look like but i do feel like a lot of the time you know that's something people tend to forget to do as simple as we may think it is so if i know your body what i really mean is like take time to stop and think okay what is it that I feel like stands out the most some people may be perfectly fine with not concealing anything but for example for me i have certain things that i like to conceal so my fupa for example is something my fupa my belly that whole region that's something that i would generally try to conceal so when i wear certain things i'm obviously going to have to keep that in mind i'm not going to go and wear you know low rise or mid rift top with low rise jeans knowing very well that that part is the part that stands out the most or that's the part that i want to cover the most it's not really something that's going to make sense sometimes it's not even as literal as that certain materials are not as flattering so for me um maybe it's something because i haven't experienced it yet but i'm yet to find like um you know those satin cow neck dresses that or a slip dress even that looks flattering on me because those kind of materials tend to cling onto everything as i am bigger i'm not gonna you know rush to think let me buy this knowing very well that it's going to sit on every lump bump and pocket that it can it's going to cling on to everything and it's going to show that hey this is right there look at me so those are the little things that i'm referring to when i say know your body know what material you know works for you what doesn't sometimes it's as quick as you know just google it there's lots of like material from different stylists and stuff that put things out there believe it or not that's how i learned even going into styling and stuff those are the kind of things that i had to look at. i read books on it i kind of google different sources on it um just to try and make myself more familiar with what people thought and obviously people work in that field what they think and what they suggest but like i said generally that's the most 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 important thing ever know your body and know what it is that you're trying to do so if i'm trying to accentuate or am i trying to hide things what is it i'm trying to do with what body part the second tip i would say is considering color and layering so naturally a lot of us know that black is the best if you're trying to hide things black you know because it has no shadows a lot of lumps and bumps tend to be concealed in black because you literally cannot see the shadow. So if my stomach is sticking out and it creates a shadow beneath it, if I'm wearing black, you're not even going to see that there's anything beneath it. So it all looks seamless. So certain colors are obviously on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. So for example, white, as you guys saw from my last dresses video, if you haven't watched it, please check that out. I was basically explaining how white shows everything because of the fact that every single shadow 
bump dimp lump it's all going to show so those are things you need to take into consideration the same applies to certain colors on the color wheel so i this is obviously more specific to me i find the darker i go so my emerald greens my browns my royal blues they are really flattering in terms of if i want to hide something so if i'm wearing a pair of you know high-waisted pants or if i'm wearing a dress those kind of colors because they're a lot closer to black than say yellow a blush pink and a coral peach are they show less in terms of my stomach so i would t tend to lean more towards those than going for the whites um the blush pinks the sky blues all of that kind of stuff so those are things that you need to consider as far as layering is concerned you may layer things in a way that hides certain things so for me when it comes to colors and layering um i'm more comfortable with the lower part of my body than the upper part of my body by the upper part of my body i mean from my stomach going up i feel like my boobs are very like in your face and a lot of times with certain outfits it just doesn't look as flattering as i feel like it could or it should what i will do is wear something that's more eye-catching on the bottom so for example wearing a white top with you know blue pants or a blue skirt or an orange skirt that would be really bright but you get what i mean wearing something that's more calm up here and more distracting down here is a tip that you could use because basically by wearing something brighter on the bottom or something with more color on the bottom than up top naturally the way human eyes works human eyes work sorry naturally the way human eyes work um the pants will draw all the attention or most of the attention so people are more drawn to the trousers or the skirt or the shorts or whatever bottoms i'm wearing rather than the top that sort of creates a distraction i hope i'm making sense obviously if you have any more questions ask me but that's what i mean by considering colors and layering the same applies if i wasn't wearing a white top i'm generally going to wear something that doesn't really have patterns or anything up top so that i cause all the distraction down here and people aren't necessarily quick to look up here this next tip actually relates to the point i just made i think it's quite important to keep textures and patterns um in mind so by that i mean i'm going to insert the picture of me in this dress this dress had these like horizontal kind of like abstract lines and basically this tie-dye feature creates a distraction so you will notice that in some of the pictures i have in this dress my waist looks a lot smaller and then at certain angles you can see my body for what it actually is and this is exactly what i mean like keeping textures in mind because lines horizontal lines in general can um make you look a lot wider but depending on the color of these like horizontal lines it can make all the difference so as you can see in some pictures it managed to make me look smaller than i am and i just feel like it's because the naked eye is more distracted by the print itself if it was a solid horizontal line it would probably be a completely different story but because it's kind of like abstract i feel like it makes that difference that's why it's important to kind of play around because obviously naturally you may have the mind frame that okay horizontal lines are going to make me look wider so let me not but sometimes when you take a risk and you know kind of you know just be a little bit more daring you find that one gem that's like oh my gosh this was a little bit different on the same note vertical lines will obviously work the best they make you look a lot taller which makes you look a lot slimmer So bearing in mind certain patterns and textures makes all the difference. I also find that sometimes when I wear just generally textured materials, so a textured mini skirt, like maybe it's like a faux croc skin or a faux leather or, um, you know, something that seems like it's like croc embossed or etched, that kind of, you know, textured material serves as a distraction as well. As I explained, I am more comfortable with my lower body. So if I wear trousers that have those, it makes all the difference. One of my friends actually wore this outfit. I'm going to insert the picture here. And she was wearing these like croc textured pants and this plain black bodysuit. First of all, this is literally 10 out of 10 everything because the fact that she's wearing black will be stimming. She's not someone who needs it anyway. But if someone bigger were to wear the exact same outfit, it would pretty much have a similar effect. So it's going to make you look a lot similar because you're wearing black. It's going to hide all the shadows. But do you see the way 
the textured pants that's the first thing you end up being drawn to is the texture of her trousers and then up top you realize it's just a plain black bodysuit that's the kind of thing when i say obviously textures and you know highlighting what you want to accentuate and then what you want to hide that makes all the difference i promise you i fooled a lot of you <laughs> a couple of times with this trick my last tip really and truly i feel like it's probably it's actually the most important it even you know over what is this over throws <laughs> the first tip this last tip and the most important tip is confidence it's really really hard and i'm i know it's a lot easier said than done being a bigger girl i've struggled with this as well there's sometimes i'm just not confident enough to put certain things on and when i've been forced or pushed to do so i've completely loved the outcome and thought oh my gosh why didn't i try this out sooner so i feel like confidence trumps anything anything and everything we have all seen we have you know a different range and a different variety of bodies when you are plus size a lot of people a lot you know have different features smaller waist some people don't have smaller waist some people have smaller tummies some people don't have smaller tum tummies some people are wider and have flat tummies others don't have flat tummies like there's a whole variety but what you'll notice that a lot of the time when you're drawn to someone's outfit and they are fully figured they just look confident and very happy in what they're wearing some people tell me i look confident i promise you i'm not i'm faking until i make it and sometimes that's the reality you will have to fake it until you make it but that works then doubting yourself completely or feeling like uh, i'm not really sure because it shows in the way you're going to present yourself the way you walk around in the dancery the way you walk around in the office when you're anywhere it honestly will show and this is why this is the most important thing be confident in yourself don't let anyone let you feel like you know this kind of item is not for me this kind of item is not for me as i explained earlier knowing your body does not mean that oh my stomach is too big to wear this or too big to this or too big to that it all depends on you as a person so i obviously naturally are more i'm more drawn to certain things because i want to hide my tummy where i'm more fine with my thighs my legs i don't mind wearing shorts every now and again and a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, you look so nice, how do you do it? And some of the people that say that have smaller legs than me. So sometimes it's like, it's really, really hard. But, you know, trust yourself, be confident in yourself. And honestly, it's going to work out for the best. You're going to look 10 out of 10. And that's just that on that. Um, this wasn't really like too in-depth. I feel like if anyone does want to go more in-depth, comment below. We can have you know a conversation about it or message me if you don't necessarily want to you know out yourself not out yourself but like you don't want to be in the comments with that kind of like topic for whatever reason just message me it's fine it's a safe space i hope this was somewhat useful um i don't really feel like you know i already know this isn't really going to cater to everyone else but i hope some of you as well who may possibly want to go into styling or sometimes want to dress a friend a family member these kind of tips help you in your pursuit to doing that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with a friend or a loved one who you think might enjoy this video and until next time bye